Hey y'all, welcome back to Palm Tree TV. Before we get into today's video, y'all can go ahead and subscribe and smash that like button. That'd be great. I'm on the road to a thousand subscribers and I'd like to get there. The more subscribers I get, the more motivation I get to make videos. I know it's been just a little bit since I've made any videos. Um, I injured myself on the jet skis again. I sliced my, right foot, my left foot open. So I've been waiting for that to heal and it's been raining here in Tennessee. We had uh, Ida come through, or the rains from Ida come through. So we really haven't had we really haven't had many lake days. It is nice today, so I'll probably go out this weekend. Just we'll see what happens. And as for the truck, it's it has a big change, which we're gonna go over in today's video. We got a six inch lift from Rough Country with some 20 by 10 Vision wheels. So we go ahead and get into this. See what. All right. So as you guys saw in the intro, this is the truck, and like I said, we went with a six inch Rough Country lift. I went ahead and went with the lifted struts in the front. And in the rear, I went with lifted coil springs. I have to go with that over the strut spacers because I think it just looks better. Um, it is a lot taller than I originally planned on it being. I, I know six inches is tall, I just when you look at videos or pictures of it, it just looks so much shorter than it actually is. The mirror comes up to about my head and I'm six foot two. So it's pretty tall. My dad hates it. He said he's gonna have to carry a step stool around just when he comes down to visit to ride with me. But overall the height is, is good. I can still tow my jet skis. I can still tow the camper. It's not too tall that I can't tow, but it's not too short that it's not worth the lift. The only thing that I have to do still on the lift is I have to install one of the bump stops on the rear. The kit that they gave you comes with bolts for both the Ram 20 or the, the, the 1500 Ram with yeah, the bump stop on the driver's side, isn't it? It's in on the passenger side. The kit comes with bolts for Rams with air ride and Rams without air ride. It's the same kit, just a little bit different brackets and pieces. So I just have to go to the hardware store and buy some bolts to do that because for some reason I ran out. I don't know how. And Rough Country says it takes about seven, eight hours, although Custom Offset says if you're a do-it-yourself or at home, it'll take about two weekends. It took me about 15 hours. Um, I, I pulled an all-nighter a couple of nights ago and installed it. It wouldn't have been that hard, but I was doing it by myself and I was on the ground. And if any of you know anything about doing anything on the ground, it's so much harder than doing it on the lift. But with a lift, it probably would have gone a little bit smoother. I would recommend anybody to try it. It's a good experience. I'll never do it on the ground again. I'll either go to my buddy's house who have lifts or pay someone to do it because 15 hours of laying on your back sucks. As for the ride quality, it's a brand new Ram. So, I mean, she has 15,000 miles on her. I've put maybe 100 miles on the lift since I bought it or since it's been installed. It rides just as smooth as it did with the factory struts on and the factory springs in the rear. Maybe a little bit rougher going over certain bumps, but it's to be, it, it's as to be expected for a lifted ram or a lifted truck in general. The wheels are 20 by 10, negative 25 offset, Vision Widows. They weren't my first choice, but they actually turned out pretty great. And then the tires are 35, 12 and a half 20s radar renegade rts i heard some really good reviews on these things on youtube people said they had 10,000 miles on them and they wore great and they were great off-road and this build is not really it's not going to be a like a mud truck it's going to be more like an overland vehicle i'm moving back out to montana here in about five to six months well i guess i guess four months now right in the december january area and so we're going to do a as far as the overland build goes, we're gonna do a tonneau cover, the Retrax Pro, with an up top roof rack and then a rooftop tent, so I can do some camping on the weekends. I used to live out west, and that's just, I think that's the easiest way for me to do it. So I'm just gonna outfit this thing. As far as my thoughts on the Rough Country lift, like I said before, I would buy it again and do it the same way. I mean, the only thing I guess I would change is I would try to do it on a lift versus on the ground. But for the money, 
you can't really beat it. 1800 bucks is not that bad for a six inch lift and it looks great. I've gotten so many compliments so far. My friends like it. It's an overall great lift kit. Like I said, $1,800 came with everything I needed. Some bolts were messed up. That could be my fault. The wheels, I love them. I originally went with Dirty Life's, which is originally by Cali Offroad, but they were like a six to eight week time, wait, six to eight week wait time. I decided I just wanted to get it done. So the Vision Widows 20 by 10 negative 25s, and they look pretty great. I thought they were going to be a lot lighter, a, a lot lighter than they are, and I'm really glad they came out to be darker. But anyways, let me know what you guys think of the truck in the comment section below. If you have any tips or pointers or things you want to see with it or any if it or if there's anybody on here that's an overlander that overlands a full-size truck with a six inch lift if you have any tips that'd be great leave them in the comment section below thanks for watching another episode of palm tree tv i'm going to try to get more videos out on a regular basis we do have some ones coming up here in the future with the truck with the jet ski i sold the boat and actually speaking of the jet skis are for sale if you're interested in buying them they're both 2021 cu spark three ups tricks with a double trailer custom covers you'll get dock lines and maybe an anchor i think if you're actually interested in it you can go ahead and dm me on instagram at palm tree tv underscore or my personal one at melota 89 i'll have the links down in the description below so you, so you can dm me if you're interested and we can talk about it there but anyways thanks for watching I'll see you guys next episode.